Well, hello, everybody. Um, here we are. It's uh, Monday, the 2nd of November. It's almost 9 o'clock in the evening. And I suppose for me, it's a what they call a red letter day tomorrow because um, tomorrow is the day I have my conversation with my cancer specialist to find out if the major surgery I had back in March of last year and the consequent series of chemotherapy has actually worked. And there are two conclusions to that. Either the cancer is gone or it has not. So it's a night before, as it were, I get that information and uh, discover my, uh, my fate and my future. So do I feel apprehensive or scared? Not in the slightest, no. I've been here before. Um, I kind of know what to expect. I'm of course optimistic and hopeful that the result will be what I'd wish it to be, but I'm also aware that with cancer you can never second guess anything, you can never take anything for granted. It's a cruel and vindictive disease in that sense. But in my personal experience, no matter how bad it gets and how unpleasant it can be and how stressful and scary and frightening it can be, if you have a correct mindset and a strong mindset and a good philosophy, you know, upon which to embark upon the next step of your journey, you can combat this, you can fight it, you can beat it. So I'm ready for anything. And uh, yeah, with that in mind, I'm kind of, um, I'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, and what will be interesting is uh, no matter what the outcome, I will make another little video to tell you what happened because this is about my journey and I want this journey to be helpful for those who may be on the same journey as myself right now or may come later because, um, you know, the reality is that cancer affects basically one in every three people and that will change to one in every two people. So the more armour we can give ourselves, the more preparation, the more knowledge we can get, the more resources to aid our, our process of battle and recovery, I think can only be good. And I've been fortunate to have those around me who've blessed me with those gifts and I just want to pass something back on to those who may come later on. So uh, fingers crossed and uh, let you know what happens. Take care, thank you, bye.